Hello. Oh. Welcome to the Union Pacific EMD E9. Today I'm showing you how to start this thing. So basically the two head locomotives are basically the same. Come into the cab. So basically right now you need to turn on the load lock. All the electrics on, so come over here. Like controls, lights, engine, and main. Main is basically your main breaker. Go over to the seat. Then you hit engine starter. I'll start your engine up, as you can see. Main thing you want though is when you're controlling. You see when I hit the reverse switch, it's going, but um. That'll happen every time you. So basically, if you're ever having, yeah, if you're having, if you're ever having any more um, engines like the mo the the 949A or the 4941, you have to hit the lead unit, and that'll basically tell the uh, other ones that okay, this is where it's going. All right, so we're just gonna head back, start braking. We don't want. St you have to leave the engine starter on because the engine will stall out every time. So once we get that to zero, we're gonna release brake. We're gonna start going back. The reverse switch or whatever it starts actually moving back at 30. So be careful. And what we're gonna do is. What is that on? We're gonna move back here. I just need to make sure it's on the correct track. What are you on? Okay, so we're gonna have to change that when we get there. So let's add a little more throttle. Or oh, reverse switch. You, you, you should leave your throttle out all one times, but you mainly want to do your reverse switch. So we're gonna, gonna start breaking here. Put you on zero. So, so everyone, when you're stopping, you want to put on zero or you're gonna drain your battery. Let's come out here. Union Pacific 949E9. Come over here. Get ready to connect with those power units back there. that reconnect yep start reversing that should be put on the other one yep all right now so this is the basics of each engine it works exactly the same as uh, 941 so all right turn brakes off brakes are off reverse the switch you can put it, usually, once you get past 30, it actually starts moving. So, we're going to just keep reversing here till we make it. And it is moved by three trucks. You know, because, you know, having just two of them can make it go as fast as I want it to be. So, so as we're moving back now, let's make, I'm going to make sure that is the correct one. So I don't mess it up here. Yep. Alright. So when we get closer, we're going to connect to each unit. And I'll show you how to start them. So close to that. We're going to apply some brakes. Prior you to zero. Actually, we could probably move back a little bit more. 23. Well, it actually starts at 20, but you know, just be on the safe side because you don't want to break anything. So, as we slowly move back here, we're going to connect 
to, cause, you know, it's, they don't like it, you know, people say they don't like that noise, but, you know, I kind of don't care for, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. all right, I start to move at 30, uh, but, hold on. Thanks, Phil. But that was my bet. Sometimes it freaks out like that. It's my break. Break, 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 break. Break! And that should neck there. Put that there. Come on, yep. Alright, now, since we should be connected to the rear unit, hit lead engine, and that basically gives, that basically tells that every other, every other locomotive in this thing, so we should be actually connecting. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Connect here. Yep, here we go. Now. So basically, if we control everything, oh, so basically your RPS, your temp, this is the second unit, well this is 949A, so engine starter, you have to leave these on, or it'll just be stupid, and I'm actually going to reverse more, so now you can basically tell, when you hit the lead engine, that basically tells you now, hey, where you're sending out input from that engine to here, and so on and you cannot stack these so you can tell how the both are on so we're just gonna take off the brake put a little reverse switch in So we're connected there. Alright, price breaks. Take this to zero. Because, you know, it'll just take out your battery. Take out the brakes for now, because we don't need them. We have this as much. Alright, so since we have the lead engine on, and once we go up to 941, we should be able to start that one up. Since we're connected, walk over here, go on here, turn power on, that voice cracked though, um, then we're going to come over here, and just hit engine starter, and now, so basically this engine is taking power from, well taking input from the lead one over there, and so it's going to be like slave, and this works either way, so basically when I start going I'll show it. So basically, since I click that, the lead engine there, if you want to go power, if you want to take control of all these, all these units by 941, you would just unclick lead engine here, and click it over there. Because these, those two engines can act independently of each other, and you know, we'll just... So, let's see how this is working, and once I'm going to keep going, I'm going to break a little bit, and I can show you how. This max speed is 105 on straightaways, but turns, it goes down to 60 to 75. Alright, so we're going to start, I'm going to start breaking now. Well, let's put this to zero so we don't waste our battery. Oh, start breaking. I can see our speed. It's in miles per hour because you know, American, so. Gonna do that. So, slow down. Zero. And as you see, when I hit Liege Engine off, you will see that the last unit behind us is zero. We'll actually turn off because what I have it is that. Uh, 
So basically, this is still singing out a signal. But, and the main unit in here, well, 9949A, it basically takes whatever signal it's getting. Well, so basically, it gets brake and engine throttle. That's what it collects out of any unit. You know, that's going to be the same. Well, actually, now it just collects engine throttle. And that'll mean when we come over here. So since we're going to, so basically, that metal, that metal unit only collects, only collects, it collects everything. So if we do that, as you can see, both engines cut off. That means basically we're taking information from this unit and just copying on everything off. And since that was off, as you see, when we will throttle up. Everyone will turn on, and if we reverse it, we will go that direction, and when we will we'll go the opposite direction, when, you know, these things are heavy, we will start going forward, and all the units, and these can, each unit can act independently. And you cannot detach the 949A from both of these units. You have to touch so like, your rear connector and your front connector. And that's for the rear connector connecting to 94A and the head connect the head unit for 941. Let's see, we're gonna go in a little fast, brakes. As you can see, it's stuck. As you can see, I want to make. I want to plan to make actually like actually uh, a micro controller, the micro controller for the brakes. Because what I want to do, what you can do is, if you have a cart that has a uh, micro controller or a micro or the I forgot what's called the purple thing going from each rail. Exactly what you can, what you can do is you can basically have a line of like passenger cars with the unit 949 and unit 941 on each side and those two are going to be power going to be able to control by each other so that's it for this train and we have a dandy you know super bowl